welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna talk about art. So if you are interested in art, please watch this video till the end. Let's start. So what is art? Art is a decentralized ecosystem designed to increase user adoption of blockchain technology. The art proof software development team has outlined clearly in their white paper that they can plan on bringing blockchain to the masses by building a fast, secure core technology with practical services for real people. To put it simply, the art crew is creating a sandbox ecosystem where the businesses and other users can create their own blockchain from a clone of Arc in just a few clicks. To make this ecosystem as widely accessible as possible, the crew is focusing heavily on providing a good user experience and incorporating as many other blockchains and coding languages as possible. How does it work? The art crew is building several notable features in the ecosystem, all with the unified underlying goal of making blockchain more accessible to the world. Smart bridge, alternative programming, languages, flash button deployable blockchains, delegated proof of stake. ARC operates using a delegated proof of stake consensus algorithm. Unlike Bitcoin, in which miners with expensive rigs secure network transactions, the ARC network is secured by delegates. There are hundreds of potential delegates, but token holders in the ARC ecosystem continuously vote on who actually gets to be an active forging delegate. Only 51 delegates make the cut. As a token holder, you are only allowed to vote for one delegate at a time. The fee to vote or unvote is just one ARC, so it's advantageous to at least vote once for a delegate you support. The more art tokens you own, the more powerful your voice. Reputable delegates have written proposals in which they document how they will operate. Many of the popular ones include profit sharing from the rewards they receive when they forge new blocks. If you vote for a delegate with the profit sharing, you effectively get dividends over time. Other delegates are run with the intention to fund development projects, giving votes an equity stake or provide services on applications that may be unprofitable otherwise. With your vote, the choice is entirely your own. The ARC ecosystem was launched with 125 million ARC in the Genesis block. Delegates are awarded two ARC for each block that they fork, and the block forked about every 8 seconds. The 8 second block time puts ARC on the faster end of transaction times for cryptocurrencies. To put it in comparison, Bitcoin has 10 minute block times, Litecoins are 2.5 minutes, and Ethereum transactions typically take 14 seconds. Current, the ARC net Network can process 25 transactions per block. The crew has stated in the white paper though that they plan on making this more scalable. They will do this by lowering the block time and increasing the number of transactions that are in each block. Fees. To send ARC, you have to pay a transaction fee of 0.1 ARC. This amount is going to change as the network grows and become more efficient. To register as a delegate, you need to pay 25 ARC and, as I mentioned earlier, casting a vote for a delegate currently costs 1 ARC. With the next core update, these fees will be reduced. All fees are paid to Fogin Delegate who process the blocking containing those fees. Some are history. ARC was launched by 27 members spread across the world. With team members located everywhere from California to Bulgaria, the R crew is truly decentralized. The team currently consists of 15 core members. The R infrastructure is modeled heavily on that of three other projects, Beachers, Crypty, and Leaf. In fact, some of the R developers were previously developers on some of those projects. The primary similarity that R has with those previous projects is the use of the Depot's consensus algorithm. Where to buy R? ARC is primarily available on Bittrex and Binance's trading pair with Bitcoin. There are other exchanges that support ARC, but their trade volumes are significantly lower than those two platforms. For more information how to purchase ARC, use our links below this video. Where to store ARC? The easiest place to store your ARC is in one of the wallets provided on the side. You have three options. Desktop wallet, paper wallet, web-like wallet. Delegate voting. After setting up your ARC desktop wallet, you 
should vote for a delegate. There is many to choose from, and they all propose different ideas and payouts for the community. First, you need to transfer some ARC to your wallet. Then the ARC you purchase from an exchange to the public address listed in your wallet. With at least one ARC in your wallet, navigate to the Votes tab. Next, click Add Delegate. In the Add Delegate pop-up, you have the option to choose one of the top 51 Fortune delegates or enter in another one you'd like to vote for. After selecting Delegate, it should appear on your delegate list. Make sure the checkbox next is to delegate is checked and click Vote. The last thing you need to do is enter your passphrase and confirm your vote. That's it. You're free to remove your vote or vote for a different delegate whenever you want. You'll still have to pay the one ARC fee each time though. I'm a huge believer in the ARC ecosystem and everything that the ARC team is attempting to build. I appreciate the clean and simple design of everything that they create. The crew realized that bringing a complex idea like blockchain technology to the public eye has to start with exemplary design. If the ARC crew is able to accomplish everything and they adjust this roadmap, there is no doubt that this ecosystem will be one of the most influential catalysts of the blockchain technology adoption. So my friends, it is all for now, but if you have some questions, don't be shy and write in our comment section below this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day and see you tomorrow. Bye!